now it's ruined. <laughs> my skin is so dry and congested. First things first, my skin is burning so bad. I didn't think that this was gonna happen. If I did, I would never have used that product. I just wanna see if this will really help. I'm back at square one. I'm back where I started. It says, I do not like this. Again, so it's not actually like pimples you can pop. I'm scared to put anything else on my skin. So I don't know what to do, guys. Um, I'm so embarrassed of my skin. It's, it's honestly the real deal. I might have fucked up my skin. <laughs> I didn't even want to film today because I just am so embarrassed of my skin. I am so triggered right now. The fact that you guys are seeing me like this is honestly the real deal. Basically, I had all those little bumps on my skin and it was bothering me so much to the point where I just feel like they wouldn't go away unless if I like extracted them. So that's what I did. I just did it so... That's why my skin looks so, so bad. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Compared to what my skin was looking like, like, three weeks ago. Not even, like, two weeks ago till now. My skin has gotten so bad and... Yeah. So, I've had those little bumps, congestion all in my skin. I haven't had that before. So, I felt like they wouldn't be able to come out unless if I extracted them. So last night I did um, a little bit of a glycolic acid and I put some aquaphor on my skin. So that kind of helped like, you know, the size of the bumps, but they were still there. So today I literally sat down and I extracted every single one, which is probably not the best thing that you should do for your skin. And that's why my skin looks so bad right now. Surprisingly, everything's flat. And yeah, I actually... Basically, I would extract each section of my skin and then I would put some alcohol over it so that it doesn't get infected or anything like that. Even though I know alcohol is so bad for your skin, super drying. I just used it for a quick second to like clean up the area so I'm not spreading bacteria. And then I went in and washed my face with a very gentle cleanser. And then I also did um, like I cut an aloe vera leaf and I put that all over my skin to help you know, the redness, the healing part of it. I don't want to show you guys exactly what I'm doing unless I know one of them works for sure. I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression and try to do exactly what I did and then ruin their skin and come for me. So I don't want to show you guys exactly my routines until I know what is working and then I'll film that for you guys and show you in this video. But this is what my skin is looking like right now. It's so bad. It's so inflamed. You guys know now I have reactive skin so my skin is super sensitive and it gets really red like this anytime like I get a facial or anything so this is kind of normal for me I just know it's gonna take a few days because I did extract like every single bump I seen I wouldn't recommend this this is my skin this is me just trying stuff out to help my skin but obviously it's not looking too good right now, so don't try this at home. I also put some ice on it, so after I did the aloe vera, I like rubbed some ice so that it can kind of, you know, soothe itself. Hopefully tomorrow it looks way better. I am going to drink some turmeric tea to help with the inflammation. I don't know, guys. can't believe how good my skin was looking, and then it looks like this right now fucking crazy all right guys i'll see you guys in the next update bye okay so it's five days later my skin is so much better it feels so good now it's not as clear as it used to be of course but it's definitely way better since the last time i updated you guys i still have a little bit of inflammation but a lot of dark spots now the texture has gone down completely it's still a little bit of texture around the mouth area and jawline on this side but it's literally not as bad as it used to be at all. It's actually like all flat and 
pretty much not as irritated. So I actually changed up my routine as far as my skincare goes and I actually went back to the routine I did when I was using Curology except I'm not using Curology this time. So for that routine, I use a lot of products that are kind of controversial. Like I get a lot of comments in my other videos saying I shouldn't use these products, they're bad for your skin, yada yada yada. But honestly, my skin loves these products. It saves my skin every single time I break out so bad. And I don't know why, even though it might be a bad product, it does work for some people out here. So please don't come for me that I'm using these products. My skin just likes them. I have no idea why. So I want to share with you guys the routine I've been doing to get my skin controlled. All I did was I, when I wore makeup, I used an oil cleanser instead of a makeup wipe. It actually adds moisture to the areas that I'm dry and sensitive, but it also gently cleans off any dirt, makeup, sunscreen, stuff like that. I'll rub my skin for about a minute, then I'll wash it because it turns into like a cleanser when you add water, so I'll wash it all off. Then I'll pat my face dry again and I'll put the Clean and Clear Cleanser. So this is the one in the purple bottle. And that one, I think it's because it has benzoyl peroxide in it. That's why my skin loves it so much. But it's meant for acne. It's meant to control acne and all that stuff. So when I add it to my face while it's dry, it actually grips onto my skin way easier. And I feel like it works down into the pores way better because it's like grabbing everything. And I'll rub it in like as if it was a moisturizer. This cleanser doesn't even foam up at all. It's, it feels like a cream. So if you rub it in like a moisturizer until it's completely dissolved, then I go in and wet my hands and I'll add a little bit of water to it and get it all milky. After I do that, I wash my face for about a minute or so and make sure I get all my acne. So I swear to you guys, every time I do this, my breakouts go down completely. Literally, like instantly right then and there. So I think it's because it's how I use the cleanser. That's what makes it effective for me. And then after that, I'll go in with the toner. So I feel like this is a step that's very, very crucial because it helps to balance out your skin and it helps to draw out any extra oil and dirt. Toning your face, especially if you have like active breakouts, really does help. So my skin really likes the witch hazel. I don't know why, it really loves it. It likes all the harsh things for your skin. I only use the Thayer's witch hazel one because that's the only one that doesn't make me break out and it's been working really well for me. So I'll just tone my face with that and then I'll go in with a moisturizer. So the last step will be a water cream. I use the Peter Thomas Roth one, but I feel like you can use you know, the Neutrogena one. I think there's a few other water creams out there that aren't scented and I feel like that's the main important thing when putting that moisturizer on your skin is making sure it's not scented. Water creams are just really good because it hydrates your skin without producing more oil and it doesn't leave like a super heavy cast on your face so you actually feel like your skin can breathe and I feel like that's so important especially at nighttime. But I just wanted to update you guys really quick on my skin because I feel like it, it made a huge improvement and now I just got to work on some dark spots. I'm also probably going to micro needle my skin and show you guys, you know, before and afters. But yeah, if you guys are struggling with acne and you're on this journey with me, I hope that you guys like are really patient with your skin. Really listen to it. I feel like at the beginning of all this, me using all those ordinary products was not the best way to go. And my skin was trying to tell me that, but I wasn't listening at all. Your skin should never be burning and uncomfortable while using a product. That's what I'm learning. So, um, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next update. Bye. Hi guys. So, it's been a while since I updated you guys on my skin. My skin has been going through hell. I think the last time I updated you guys, I basically was getting my skin back right. All my pimples were going down and then something happened. <laughs> I don't know what it was. After that week that I updated you guys, pretty much my skin turned super dry, super sensitive, and I was irritated of how my skin felt. So there wasn't breakouts underneath, but the actual texture of my skin was super rough, super dry, flaky skin. I do what you're not supposed to do is mess with it. So I actually dermaplane my face to get all the extra skin off. That worked, but 
I also still kept using those same products that I showed you guys in my last update and those are really really drying when you add them all together on raw skin. I don't know why I did that guys. I don't know why I do half of the things I do because the fact that I'm documenting it and I have to explain myself every time I make my skin worse. I honestly don't have a reason why. It's just in the moment I just feel like I need to tackle this issue and then it ends up getting worse. So when I think about it rationally and I talk about it out loud, it sounds crazy. Like why in the hell would I do that? Of course it's gonna make more breakouts, but I don't know. In the moments, it feels like it's what's right and I do it and my skin just overreacts. Anyways, I dermaplane my skin. I added the same products that I did in my last routine and my skin had completely broken out everywhere. So I got the big breakouts, I got the breakouts that were underneath the skin, the texture was still there, the dryness was still there, and it was just burning all the time. So I was like, okay, let's be realistic here. I'm not using the right products right now, and even though it helped my pimples, it's not helping the texture of my skin. And since my skin is trying to repair after every time I mess with it, it's basically causing more oil deep down in the pores because it's regenerating skin. So it's overworking itself, making more oil, clogging my pores. I went from that routine to nothing at all for about two days. I broke out still, but it was my way of you know, neutralizing my skin. And then I went to use a different product, which I actually did research about. And after long, extensive research, this brand has honestly had the best reviews and the best results when it comes to sensitive acne prone skin like I have. I decided to try something again but I'm very, very smart about it this time. You guys will obviously see what that is. I wanna show you guys what I'm working with before I get into all of that. So it got honestly so much worse, but this is better than what it was a few days ago. I know, it looks so bad, it looks horrible. Try not to be bothered by it, but I really am now that I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. Lot of damage going on. Um, there's breakouts because my skin is kind of purging. That is what I expected it to do. So I came into this update with a positive mindset and showing you guys the real process of what I'm going through right now. I feel like it's going to work for some reason. I really do. Even though it doesn't look like it right now, I really do feel like if I stick to this, it will work. The brand I have been using is La Roche Posay line. So I heard a lot of good things about this line. I actually see this every time I go to Walgreens and the fact that it was a little bit pricey for drugstore products, I just never bought into it. After seeing all the reviews, I was like, why not? So the good thing about this is I bought these two products together. What I was doing last time was my skin was getting really, really dry but it also was creating a lot of oil. So yes, that's contradicting, but it does work hand in hand because I'm using a lot of acne fighting products, but it's not killing my acne at the source. My skin was overly sensitive. It was irritated and it was super dry in texture. I completely stopped using that and decided to use this. So I heard this cleanser and this moisturizer is really good for sensitive acne prone skin. Dermatologists recommend it. It's safe to use on sensitive skin, but it also conquers the oil that is in your pores. So I never used a cleanser that was oil controlling without an active ingredient. And at that moment, that's what I needed. I needed something without any actives and still gonna control the oil on my face. All of my breakouts that I had at the time was drying out and it was literally after the first use everything was drying out so it was good on that so this is soap free sulfate free oil free fragrance free non chemo i don't know how to say that non comeogenic 
um, allergy tested paraben free. So when I look at the ingredient list, there's actually not that many ingredients. So I know it's going to be more on the gentler side. It has ceramides and niacinamide, which is also very, very good for the top layer of your skin, repairing your skin, adding moisture, getting rid of like darkness and stuff like that. So I genuinely really, really love this. The packaging's great. I love that there's a pump. I love how big it is. When you actually put it on, it's pretty thick in consistency. And um, it's like a gel-like form and then it turns into a foaming cleanser. And I really like it because I feel like it's really, really cleaning everything off of my skin and it's also drying everything out as far as pimple goes. But I'm not feeling stripped. I'm not feeling like super, super dry like my other cleanser. And also pairs well with this moisturizer right here. So this is the same line because um, La Roche-Posay actually has like different categories when it comes to their products. So this is the Tolerine tolerine line i have no idea what that means this is the double repair face moisturizer it also has ceramides and niacinamide and it's also the same exact type of product as the cleanser so this really helps to basically repair the top layer of your skin without um, making it too oily or too greasy or anything like that and it just basically just repairs your skin's barrier, which I definitely needed. So right when I put this on, it actually smoothed out all the dryness. This one's actually a little bit thicker too, but I like it because it really hydrates my skin really well, but it doesn't leave the super moisturized feeling, if that makes sense. Like your, your skin just feels hydrated, but you don't have that greasy feeling. You don't have that, you know, film on your skin. It's just absorbed into the skin. Your skin is dry. It's actually matte. So I really like this because it doesn't have actives in it as well. And it's doing what I need it to do, which is protect my skin, moisturize it, and keep it oil free. I used this for five days straight by themselves. I didn't put anything else on my skin at all. And it really did help everything. My pimples went down. All the little bumps that I was having were coming to the surface and it was finally, you know, unclogging itself. But I did find I still had like certain pimples that were pretty stubborn so i did more research and they also have this line called effaclear and effaclear is a acne line that they have i don't want to use their whole effaclear line because if i have actives in my moisturizer in my cleanser and everything else I feel like my skin is gonna get dry again like it did last time. So I like this paired with this because this is actually repairing the barrier of my skin, which is making it smoother, stronger. But this is actually working on my acne while that's protecting my skin. So I feel like they work hand in hand. The Effaclair Duo. This is basically a little lotion you put on in the morning and night. So I like it's gentle enough to use during the day because I, I feel like that's when I have like the most oil. I'm more prone to breakouts during the day. All the same claims that this one has as far as like sulfate free and all that stuff. So this one is a benzoyl peroxide and it's also a LHA, which is an exfoliate ingredient. And it's also moisturizing and smoothing like skincare ingredients. So you can actually use this as just a moisturizer. It's supposed to help with your acne blemishes as far as the severity of your blemishes and how many you have. And it's supposed to clear out all the blackheads and whiteheads and unclog your pores because that's what the texture I was having, that was the problem. My pores were just absolutely clogged. What stood out to me on this is they actually have a before and after photo on the box and this is just after 10 days. If I'm going to purge, I'd rather purge for 10 days than for over a month. It also says that um, you'll be able to see visible results in three days, 60% less acne in 10 days. I've been using this. I'm on day two and that's why I feel like my skin is purging right now. There's a lot of breakouts and all the textures coming to the surface, it's literally all drying out. 
I'm just not touching my face, so I'm not going to pop them or anything like that. And I'm just going to let it all come to the surface and, you know, heal itself. So when I feel my skin, I actually do feel like there's no oil or anything like that. So I know it's working. And every pimple I have is literally drying out. So I know it's going to work if I stick to it for a long period of time. But this is why my skin looks a little bit worse right now. And that's okay because this is the process of it. Even though my skin looked better last time, it wasn't better underneath. So that's why I was still going to have acne. I was still going to have problems even though my last routine was working for me at the moment. I would still have to deal with the pimples underneath. So this is bringing everything to the surface, unclogging my pores because I did actually oil cleanse. Um, last week and there was so many blackheads coming out of my pores and that's what made me get this product because I feel like I don't have any products that are actually cleaning out the pores, exfoliating my skin, and helping my breakouts all at the same time. I introduced it to my skin very slowly and I feel like I'm having a good reaction. Like this is, doesn't look good but I feel like it's working. It's doing what it's supposed to do. I'll be sticking to this for like a week or so and I'll show you guys my skin in the next update. So yeah, don't buy it until I tell you at the end of it how my skin did. I have to be patient. I can't rush it. I have to really see what's gonna work because now it's everything's pretty much flipped like before i didn't have acne but my texture was crazy and now my texture is so good but my acne is coming through so we're on the right path i feel like i don't know what do you guys think comment down below but right now i'm only on day two of using the duo so it says day three i'll start to see visible results which i feel like more of these will be dried out. Yes, this is it for today. I'll see you guys in the next update. Bye.